Hi again, I'm Chelsea. If you're just joining the session, uh, I'm both a librarian and a yoga instructor here at Brock. Today we're going to be moving through a library yoga session that really focuses on stretching out the shoulders and the upper back and all of those muscles that can get a little tight when we're sitting focused on our computers for so long all day. We're also going to invite a little bit of energy back into our day. I find when I've been working steady for a long time, I start to feel a little tired, a little sluggish. We're going to reinvigorate ourselves through today's practice. So you can start either standing, seated in a chair, or seated on the floor, whatever feels most comfortable to you today, whatever you have around you today. If you're seated in a chair, sit towards the edge of your seat so you can sit up nice and tall with your feet right underneath your knees. Nice, strong, stable posture, not too tense or relaxed, but alert. And we'll take a moment to draw our shoulders back, really lift up through the crown of the head, and take a moment to maybe close your eyes if you feel comfortable or gently soften your gaze down towards the floor. Just noticing how your body feels. Really noticing how your muscles settle into this posture, if there are any areas of tension or tightness, and any small movements you can make to make yourself a little more comfortable here. Otherwise, just observe. Notice maybe you've been tuning out a little bit of stress in your shoulders, maybe a little bit of soreness in your neck. And then from your body, bring your attention to your breath. Notice how your breath is moving. If it's fast or slow, if it's deep or shallow, and notice where you feel it most. Maybe it's up in your chest, maybe it's deep down in your belly. There's no need to change it, just observe. And then from your breath, notice where your mind is moving. Maybe your thoughts are racing around. Maybe you are feeling a little sluggish. Maybe like me, we need to re-energize ourselves in this session today. No judgment, just observing. And then we're gonna draw our attention back to our breath. We're gonna start breathing deep down into the belly, really consciously draw your breath down, softening through the belly, and exhaling out through the nose, nice and long. Take one more breath like that. And then on your next inhale, we're gonna squeeze our shoulders up towards our ears. Squeeze them up as high as you can. Squeeze your hands together, squeeze the muscles in your arms, tense up your whole body. You can even screw up your face a little bit. Don't worry, no one can see you, they're only seeing me. Take a deep breath in, and with a sigh, we'll let it all go. <sighs> dropping the shoulders, dropping all the tension. One more time, just like that. We're going to lift the shoulders up towards the ears, tense the arms, scrunch the fists, scrunch the face, scrunch your whole body, and on an exhale, <sighs> Drop it all down. Awesome. Take a nice deep breath and roll your shoulders up and back. And slowly on your exhale, we'll open up our eyes. Awesome. We're going to start by gently rolling out the neck a little bit here. This is one of my favorite ways to start. With an inhale, we'll take the nose up towards the ceiling. And exhale, start to draw it around to the side and down. Inhale as you take your nose up to the other side and exhale, take it down. Do a couple in one direction, and then the next time you come to the top, we'll switch directions, just drawing nice smooth circles with the nose. This is often a really nice, gentle way of waking up the muscles in the neck, especially if you've been focused on your computer for a long time. It's nice to move it around in a bit of a different direction without really cranking it around as intensely as we might be inclined. When you get to the top, we'll just gently drop the chin straight down here. Draw your chin towards your chest and feel that nice release in the back of your neck. Take a deep breath in here and exhale, we'll come up. Awesome. From here, we'll extend the right arm out to the side. Really extend it nice and long. You might start to feel a stretch across the top of your arm. That's good. Take a deep breath in here and then gently tip your left ear down to your left shoulder. So you're tipping your head away from your outstretched arm. 
You might start to feel an even more intense stretch through your arm. You might feel that stretch through the side of your neck. Breathe here, nice smooth breaths. And if you would like a little bit more, there's no need to take a little bit more, but if you're feeling you want a little extra stretch, you can gently rest your left hand on top of your right ear, and you're not pressing your head down, you're just resting your hand there to add a little bit of weight to your head, stretching out the side of your neck a little bit more. Take a deep breath in, and exhale, we'll come on up, release your right hand, and this time we'll extend that left arm out to the side. Stretch it out nice and long, start to feel that stretch across the top of your arm. Maybe you're already feeling it into your neck, totally fine. Take a deep breath in and exhale, we drop the head away from that arm. Oh my goodness, you might feel it on one side a little more than the other. I totally feel it on this side more. Take a deep breath in and out. You can breathe through any sensation. If you'd like a little more, again, no need to take a little more. We all feel the same thing. It's just we need different degrees of sort of shapes and weights to kind of feel it the same way. Maybe you take your right hand to your left ear. And again, you're not pulling. You don't want to pull your head down. You're just resting your hand on your head to give it a little more weight. Take a deep breath in. And out. And we'll slowly release. Awesome. We'll take the fingertips to the shoulders now, and we're gonna to start to wake up the arms by drawing circles with the elbows. So on an inhale, take your elbows together and up, and exhale around and down. Continue a few more times here. For those of you who may have practiced with me before, I have a friend who likes to call this the funky chicken, and that name is kind of stuck. So we'll switch directions now, but if you want to freestyle it all in the middle, you can get a little silly with it. I encourage that. We'll switch directions, inhaling on the way up and exhaling on the way down. And you might notice maybe your shoulders are a little crackly today. Hopefully by taking some movements, some mindful stretching, they won't be quite so crackly by the time we're done. Take one more and then we'll go ahead and release. You can roll the shoulders a little one way and the other, just relieving any last bits of tension here. And then on an inhale, we'll reach the arms all the way up, lifting up out of the waist, stretching the spine up nice and tall. And exhale, we'll take the hands to the back of the head, interlacing your fingers behind your head and keeping your head right on top of your shoulders so you're not leaning back with your head, you're not pushing forwards, right on top of your shoulders, you're gonna to start to press your head into your hands and your hands into your head. So again, you're not moving anywhere. Your head is staying exactly square right on top of your shoulders. You're just starting to engage the muscles in the back of your neck. You feel your shoulders engaging. Sometimes I find engaging these muscles, which often get really tight when we're hunching over our desks, when we're doing our work, we're focused in class. Sometimes engaging these muscles really gives them an opportunity to release. So we'll take one more deep breath in and then exhale gently, we'll release the pressure, we'll release the hands and maybe pause for a moment. Notice how your neck feels. Maybe like me, it feels like it's screwed on a little better. <laughs> One more time, we'll inhale, take the arms all the way up, and exhale, bring the hands to the back of the head one more time. This time, we're not gonna put a lot of pressure in the hands. We're going to inhale, take the elbows a little wider, maybe lift the chest a little bit here, lift the gaze a little bit, and exhale, we're gonna round it back, tucking the chin, bringing the elbows to meet towards each other. Inhale, we're gonna open it up, and exhaling, we're gonna round it down. Continue this a couple more times. This is a seated variation of cat-cow, waking up the spine, also stretching out that whole upper back area. We'll take one more, tucking the chin. And while we're rounded forwards, we'll gently release the hands and then roll the upper body up, taking the shoulders up and back before the head lifts. Awesome. From here, we'll extend the arms out to the sides, extend them nice and wide. You'll feel that stretch across the arms again. 
And then crossing the left arm over, we're going to hook it with the right arm to give that arm a nice stretch. And you might remember this stretch maybe from gym classes when you were younger. Breathe here. You might feel a nice stretch behind your left shoulder blade here. If you're familiar with yoga classes, this is a very similar stretch to a thread the needle posture, which is usually done on the floor. So we're avoiding the floor. But if you are practicing with a mat today and you'd like to take thread the needle, you're welcome to if you're familiar with that posture. Take one more breath in and out. And then inhale, we'll stretch the arms nice and wide. Feel that stretch again across the arms. And exhale, this time cross the right arm over, hook it with the left. And we'll get that stretch on the other side. And again, as with all yoga postures, we don't want to be cranking ourselves into this posture where we feel like our shoulder is going to pop out of our socket. None of that is good. But you just want a nice, beautiful stretch behind that right shoulder blade and sensation that still allows us to breathe. Maintaining the breath, maintaining that calmness, that easy rhythm of breath is really the goal. And when we lose track of the breath, that's often when we start getting into more of a, a stress response. So when you notice you're doing your work, you're really caught up, you're feeling stressed out, the breath often gets a little more shallow. So we wanna to try to maintain that nice deep breath. Take one more in and out. Inhale, stretch it out nice and wide, and exhale, drop the arms. Awesome. With an inhale here, we're going to reach on up towards the sky, and then bending the left arm, we're going to bring that left hand down behind us, bring the right hand to the top of the left elbow, getting a nice tricep stretch. So you might, again, remember this from some gym classes. You can stay here, taking a nice deep breath in, and then maybe if you'd like a little bit more, you can start to tip towards the right. So you're tipping away from that bent arm. This increases the stretch. You get a little bit of a side stretch going on, and this might be more than enough. So feel free to stay here, or maybe tip over to the side just a little bit. Take one more inhale, and exhale, we'll come on up, we'll unravel, and right away, inhale, reach up. This time bending the right arm, we'll bring that left hand to the elbow, Getting that nice tricep stretch and maybe arcing towards the left, away from that bent arm, increasing the stretch just a little. But notice how your breath responds. If this suddenly becomes very intense, might be a little harder to maintain that breath, you can ease off a little bit here. We don't want to be stressing ourselves out with our yoga practice. Take one more inhale and exhale. We'll unravel. And we'll start to make our way up to standing. So you can feel free to use your hands to get you up out of your chair for sure. If you'd like to really engage the legs with your feet underneath your knees, you can reach your arms forwards to come all the way up. And we'll move our chairs off to the side. We've done a really good job now of waking up the upper body. Hopefully you're feeling a little looser already. We're gonna get some energy moving now. We're gonna get some more energy moving down through our legs. So we'll start with a nice solid standing posture, our mountain pose here with our feet underneath our hips, our shoulders back, our hands reaching down towards the floor, and our chins level with the floor so we're not looking up or down, just neutral. We'll start to shift our weight forwards onto our toes and rock it back onto the heels. And it might be a little tricky to land on your heels. But we're going to inhale, take it forwards onto the toes, and exhale, take it back. And you can start to create a little bit of rhythm here, maybe moving the arms. You can take your arms up overhead as you come up and take them back as you come back onto your heels. And this can be very playful here. We can start to inhale, exhale, and we can start to breathe with it as we get a little more vigorous with the motion. And don't worry if when you're on your heels, you start to kind of penguin walk backwards. That's a part of the fun. Just make sure you're not going to stumble into anything behind you. But keep this movement going. You're just releasing your arms now. We're getting very loose with the posture. Play around with it. And then the next time we come to the top, we'll pause at the top, pause on the toes. Try to hold your balance. It can be a little tricky. 
And then lowering the heels, we're gonna fold ourselves forward. So you can bend your knees as much as you need to here. Lengthening your spine, letting go through the head, neck, and shoulders. On your next inhale, we're gonna lift up just halfway. So you can bring your hands to your shins, your knees, your thighs, wherever you need to try to keep your upper body parallel to the floor. And if you'd like the extra challenge, maybe you reach your arms out, either bringing your hands to your chest, reach your arms out nice and long, and feel your back muscles really engaging to hold you here. We're gonna hold either with our hands down at our chest, reaching forwards for three, two, one, and we'll release it down, softening everything one more time. Now from center, again, you can keep your knees as bent as you like here. We're going to bring the left hand to center, straighten the right leg just a little bit and only as much as feels good to you. We're gonna open that right arm up towards the sky. Now, if you can't comfortably keep your fingertips on the floor, you can bring your hand to your leg as well. Just getting a little bit of an action, a twisting action through the body, stretching out the back of the leg. Take an inhale and then we'll switch. So we'll bring that right hand down. We're gonna keep that right knee bent. Maybe think about straightening that left leg just a little as we peel that arm up towards the sky. Breathe nice and steady. We'll take one more inhale. And exhale, we'll release it down and slowly roll our way all the way up to standing, rolling the shoulders up and back before the head lifts. Awesome. From here, we're gonna find our mountain pose again. So our feet are underneath our hips. They're about hip distance apart. Take the shoulders back, reach the fingertips down, lift up through the crown of the head. And then we're going to do a standing twist. So we're gonna to spin towards the left, keeping the lower body totally stable, bringing the right hand across the front of the body to the left hip and circling that left hand all the way around, maybe to the lower back, maybe all the way around to the other hip. It doesn't really matter where it goes, but with an inhale, stand up extra tall and exhale, twist, leading with your core, with your chest towards the left, taking your gaze back behind you. Notice how this version of the twist really engages your core. Again, we're generating that energy. We're waking ourselves up for the rest of the day. Continue to breathe nice and steady. We'll take one more inhale and exhale very softly, fluidly. We're just gonna twist to the other side, bringing that left hand to the right hip and circling the right hand around you, either to your lower back, maybe the back of your hand reaches your left hip. With an inhale, stand up nice and tall and exhale, twist towards the right, taking the lead with your core, with your chest, so you're not really using your arms to pull you here, and it'd be really awkward, I think, if you tried. So you're forced to really have that core engagement as you twist. And even though this is a bit of an awkward shape, there's a fair bit of effort going on here. See if you can soften so you can breathe at the same time. We'll take one more deep breath in and exhale. We'll gently, softly start to sway towards the previous side and back. So we're just gently going to start to twist the arms back and forth. We're not really using the muscles in the arms. We're just kind of spinning through the torso. So the arms can be nice and loose. And this can be very, very playful. You can get very big with your movements here, maybe making sure you're not going to hit anything around you. I've got some shelves. I've got to be wary of. And you can bend your knees through the movement here, get a little playful, a little soft. Often when we're in the middle of our studies, maybe in between lectures, in between meetings in our offices, things get very stiff. We feel very serious. It can be kind of nice to take a bit of a playful break. I always think of little kids kind of skipping around when I do this. So you can smile. We'll continue for three, two, one, and then gently let yourself slow down and come back to stillness 
in our mountain pose, reaching your fingers down towards the floor. And maybe take a moment to close your eyes here, noticing how your body feels. Maybe there's a little more energy. You feel a little more life in your legs and your arms, your torso. Maybe you feel a little silly. Maybe you're smiling to yourself a little bit. It's all good. We'll take a nice deep breath in, reach the arms all the way up towards the ceiling. You can open your eyes. And one more time, we're gonna fold it forwards, bending the knees as much as you need to. This time, catch a hold of opposite elbows, and we're just gonna let the upper body ragdoll down towards the ground. So gravity is really doing all the work here. You're relaxing your back. You're not straining for the floor. You're just letting gravity do its job and stretch out all along your back. Maybe it would feel good to sway a little from one side to the other. Maybe back at center, it would feel a little good to shake your head. Yes and no. Inviting the muscles in your neck to relax. Take one more deep breath in and exhale, we'll roll it back up. Back up to standing. I have one more standing posture for you today, and then we'll make our way back to seated and close off our practice. From our nice stable mountain pose, we're going to inhale, we'll reach up onto the toes one more time, and exhale, we'll bring our heels down and reach our arms wide. We're gonna circle that right arm underneath the left, bringing the elbows roughly on top of each other, and you can bring your hands either to your shoulders, giving yourself a bit of a hug, or maybe you can bring your forearms up to touch, maybe even wrap your hands around to come into full eagle arms. Now, there is no benefit to doing a hug, bringing the forearms, or bringing the hands together to touch. It just looks a little different in different people to get the same sensation. So you wanna start feeling a bit of a stretch behind your shoulder blades, maybe across your shoulders, that's really the goal. So if you're not coming into the full pretzel shape, that really doesn't matter. <laughs> this can be very, very lovely too. And who doesn't want an extra hug during the day? So wherever you're at, you can breathe here. And if you'd like a little bit more of a test of your balance, we're gonna start to shift our weight onto our left foot. You can maybe start to hover your right foot up off the floor. Maybe you just have your right toes down on the floor. Then if you're up for the challenge, you can bend your left knee a little bit and cross your legs while you stand here to come into Eagle Pose. If you're familiar with the full pose and it feels good in your body, maybe you wrap your right toes around the inner part of your left ankle, but that is by no means necessary. It's already really hard standing on one foot, crossing your leg over. Wherever you are, take your elbows up and away. We'll hold for three, two, one, and gently unravel everything and shake it all out. If your balance was a little off, that's totally okay. That's a part of the play. That's a part of the process. We're gonna go ahead and do this on the other side. So with an inhale, lift up onto the toes, reach up nice and tall. Again, we're testing our balance here too. I'm already toppling over. And exhale, lower the heels, reach the arms nice and wide. This time, circle the left arm under the right, either coming to rest your hands towards your shoulders, giving yourself a bit of a hug, maybe the forearms or the palms wrap around to touch. From here, this might be more than enough. If you'd like to play with your balance, you can go ahead and shift your weight onto your right foot. Maybe you bring your left toes to the floor, maybe you hover that leg. If it feels good, you can bend your right knee a little bit and cross that left thigh on top. Take your elbows up and away. We'll hold for three, two, one, and oh, release, shake it out. Notice maybe there's a little more energy, a little more focus too, because we've had to try to hold our balance. Often that requires a little extra focus, um, and that might be a little reinvigorating for the rest of your day. Wherever you're at, we're gonna go ahead and make our way down to seated. You can do this on a chair, you can do this on the floor, whatever feels good to you. If you're joining me in a chair, my challenge to you today, standing in front of your chair, we're gonna come towards chair pose, where we sink our hips back like we're about to sit back in a chair. But before we sit all the way down, 
rise up onto your toes. This is really tricky. This is a lot of work through the legs. Hold it for three, two, one, and then continue the journey down towards your chair. If it's a roller chair like mine, make sure it's not escaping from you. Maybe make sure you grab it so it's not gonna go anywhere. And then we'll come to a nice stable posture. Take a nice deep breath in. You can roll the shoulders up towards your ears and exhale, take them down. If you're seated in a chair, maybe take your left forearm down towards your thighs and peel your right arm up towards the ceiling. If you're seated on the floor, you can also bring your hands sort of, if you're cross-legged sitting on the floor, you can bring your forearm into your lap. It might just be a more intense twist through the lower body. And gently we'll switch, bringing that right forearm down, that left arm up. Taking some nice, easy breaths. And slowly exhaling, unraveling, coming back into a nice, relaxed, but alert posture. Your feet are underneath your knees if you're seated in a chair, sitting up nice and tall, reaching up through the crown of the head. Shoulders are back. And maybe for a moment, gently close your eyes or take your gaze down to the floor. Observing how your body is feeling as your muscles settle into this posture. Noticing any areas of tension or tightness or any new sensations that perhaps were not there before. From your body, bring your attention to your breath. Noticing where you feel it most and how it's moving. And then from your breath, bring your attention to how your mind is moving. Notice any differences in your body, your breath, your mind now compared to how you felt at the very beginning. We'll take a nice Deep breath in and let it go with a sigh. One more time, take a nice deep breath in down into the belly. Really, really fill up the lungs and exhale it with a sigh. Gently, we'll bring the hands together at center in gratitude and bow our heads forward to thank ourselves for the time we've given ourselves to practice today. Slowly open our eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today for library yoga. I hope to see you again next time.